Hello you guys and welcome back to Brittany Allen Crafts. I have two very exciting DIYs for you. These are the very first two Christmas DIYs for 2021. I'm using a mixture of Walmart as well as Dollar Tree products just like this little frame here and I'm just going to paint that white. While I'm on the subject real quick if you have not been to Walmart or if you're going to Walmart or whatever be it go to their Christmas section and check out what they have because things are going fast y'all especially the really cheap cute things that you can get for a dollar or a dollar 98 you know 98 cents or a dollar 98 go and get what you need now because it won't be there <laughs> i promise all right have you seen these decorative filler bags from dollar tree oh my goodness if you see these grab them they are freaking amazing they have some of the cutest little pieces in there that i've ever seen they do have little uh, pine cones which I could have dealt uh, without the the pine cones because I have plenty of little pine cones uh, and more of the other stuff that they had in there which was these little um, berry garlands they're very tiny um, probably about six to eight inches maybe a foot I doubt it but uh, they're perfect size for the frame I'm using whatever frame you are using you will need to alter the pieces that you are using to fit that size frame especially if it is a smaller frame than the one I'm using um, it did take a quite a bit of time to fill this up and if I could go back hindsight is 2020 I would have not put those little berry garlands on the bottom I would have saved those and put those on top because what you're going to do is you're going to stack all these pieces and what I found myself doing was just putting pine cones in certain areas just so I could use it as a builder a building block to add something else on top because you're going to want to build it up out of that frame so that it has dimension. So yeah, I would have saved those garlands to the end and then added those to the top. But I love the way this thing turned out and I could not be happier. And I'm definitely, definitely, definitely making another one of these. These are so cute, y'all. I hope y'all like this as much as I do. It took, like I said, quite a bit of time, but it was well worth it. So here is a list of just a few of the things that I added into this project just in case you missed it. I did add one of my little burlap flowers. I cut up a pine cone and just cut it down to where it would fit perfectly in there backwards. I added one big flower. I added um, a few little pops of red here and there. I also used the berries to fill in places where there was just a little gap. I also added little wood stars. Um, I added a few little bells so that it would jingle and I also used these little stars that you can get in the craft aisle at Dollar Tree for filling in the gaps as well as these little individual berries that I got at Christmas time last year. Since you're still here go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on that bell we are almost to 4,000 subscribers and we can't get there without your help so come on help us out let's get there let's get to 4,000 subscribers so I can do a giveaway I've been waiting so long I've had this stuff for ages I just I want to do a giveaway <laughs> so yeah go ahead and subscribe if you want to be in the giveaway once we hit 4,000 subscribers and help us get there Go ahead and like this video if you like it and leave me a comment with any suggestions or if you want to chat. All right, so this is DIY number two. And as you see, we are just painting some wood beads. Wood be I actually ended up using a different set of wood beads. I used some from BB Crafts, which, oh my God, they're so much easier to paint than the ones from Dollar Tree because they have, because they're already painted the ones from Dollar Tree, which, ugh. It's almost impossible to get the paint. So I, yeah, I used a different set of uh, beads and I'll link those for you, for you guys. But this little pack of ornaments is from Walmart. I paid $1.98 for six of them. I have so many 
packs of different little ornaments that are similar to these. Wait till you see the little tobacco baskets that I got. They're little miniature ornament tobacco baskets. I think that's what they're called, right? I'm hoping I will be doing a DIY in the next video using those because they're so freaking cute. All right, so now that we're done painting, we're just going to string through that little ornament. You can do this easier by adding a little piece of masking tape to your baker's twine. Always cut a bigger piece of twine than you think you're going to need. I did black, gray, black, gray, white, black, gray, black, gray, white, so that it would be kind of like the buffalo check. You know, there's more black and gray than there is white, so I don't know. It made sense in my head. Uh, after I was done stringing them up, I tied a knot a few times to keep those beads in place, and then I just made a loop and double knotted that. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe so we can get to 4,000 subscribers and I can do a giveaway. If you want to be involved in that giveaway, then you'll need to subscribe. So why not go ahead and do that now? Give this video a thumbs up. It helps this channel to grow. And leave me a comment down in the comment section. Thanks guys so much for watching and I hope I'll see you back next time. <laughs>